Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. So myself and Kelvin were busy, and we set up a nice little situation over here so far. Uh, I'm not sure where he is right now. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Oh, I see him on the map. Where are you anyway? I'm sure he'll pop up. I do want to give him a task before I leave, because I do have a plan for today. And apparently it begins with drinking water because I'm thirsty. Can I get some water here? There we go. And I might as well fill up all the way, even though I do have my flask on me. And as a matter of fact, in terms of hunger... How many pieces here? You know, I should fill up because I don't know how long that's going to last. I actually haven't had any of that failing me yet, but you never know. So why don't we eat that one there too? Okay, so we're good to go then. And I see our little tiredness one is kind of full all the way as well. By the way, you might notice I happen to have, yeah, the stun baton out. Because I think the stun baton is one I'm going to go with for now. Especially if you hold it. Zap. Yeah, I actually used that because even though we did have a pretty peaceful day yesterday for gathering uh, logs and such. Oh, there you are. I guess he's going to get some water or something like that. There you go. All right, so he's going to get himself some water. Uh, we did have a visitor at the end of the day. And uh, as a couple of my um, viewers reminded me, the natives are actually kind of useful. And as a result, I... Um, yeah, I do have some bones and I have a skull because basically the fire was going anyway, so I just chucked them on the fire. Yeah, if I have an appropriate amount of rope, I can actually make bone armor. I was thinking of leaving a little gift for the natives here, a little effigy, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. By the way, I'm sure you're wondering, like, wait a minute, what good is this? There's no door. All right, so why don't we just look at that for a moment, because there is a door, you just can't see it yet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look here, and boom. And then we're going to look here, and boom. And then we're going to look here. Now, if you wanted a window, it'd be the same kind of thing. Obviously, you wouldn't go all the way down then, right? All right, and all the way down. All right, those might be useful to me if I remember to pick them up, because if you leave the game, if you save and leave the game, anything that's lying around kind of goes away. Um, except, of course, for Kelvin. Here's the thing. I do have a mission I want to do for today. Hold on a minute. By the way, you might notice that the axe isn't on my quick menu. But I do have a bow, just in case. All right. Um, I'm going to need you to do something for me. Uh, yeah, for the moment, follow me. Okay? Okay, I'm assuming that that's a yes. All right, so let's come over here. See, what I want him to do is, while I'm away, I want him to gather some logs for me. Perfect. Stand right there. Stand right there. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to get logs and drop them here. See. So I don't know how long I'm going to be away, but having some extra logs is just a really good idea. All right, so he's going to go take care of that. All right, what I want to do is I want to start investigating these little markers. As I understand it, those little purple exclamation points are actually our former friends. Well, hopefully not former. Hopefully we find them, we can help them, and maybe at the very least get them to work for us. But I think that's what we're going to do. And I think since it's on the way, why don't we head straight for that cave that's in front of us, and then we can see about going over there. Who knows, maybe if we get time, we can hit that little green one over there. But I think that we're just going to focus on that for now. So... I mean, I got the water, I got the food, and I'm not tired at all, so let's start going here. Because we also do want to keep our eyes open for any, like, really great places to build, if you know what I mean, right? I mean, this is temporary because it's a little hard to fortify. You're probably going to need, like, a whole big old fence around and a bunch of traps. But, I mean, I did want a little hut for now because, after all... Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be until um, winter comes along, and we are going to need shelter for then. 
So I don't know if we're going to have problems beforehand. All right, I guess we can work our way up this way because it does seem as if... Here, can I zoom in again? Uh, probably not, but I know the way. It kind of looks like we have to follow that little offshoot river or whatever it is over there. Dabbling brook, perhaps. Uh, let's get up here. All right, let's just head up this way. All right, so maybe the cave will have something that we can just pick up and grab, and it's very useful. All right, let's see here. Ooh, salmon? Okay, they're heading upstream. Okay, and I just heard something. I need to be careful because if there's one thing... Oh, like that, for instance. Uh, that actually looks like a camp, so let's not do that. Uh, there was also at least three of them over there, so that sounds like a really bad idea. All right, let's just keep heading up this way. I mean, if they're going to scream me off, then yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, until, um, until things get a little better for us, you know what I mean? A little bit more armament, maybe a gun, maybe a shotgun, because I do have buckshot after all. And yet I want to very carefully avoid the spider webs that are between some of the trees here. Like I said, I do want to keep my eyes open for a good long-term place for a base. Yeah, I do actually need more sticks, don't I? So I should be picking them up whenever I see them. Pretty sure I'm full on rocks. Yes, I am. All right. All right. So we're coming up on this cave. After that, we'll head over to the marker there. All right. Where is... Okay, we got a little path. And the path is going to lead to the water. All right. Let's just grab, just grab that. All right. There we go. Right, over here. I guess that's where it is. No, go. Um. Oh, oh, uh, cloth, rope, cloth. Okay, that really shouldn't be my first consideration here, though, should it? Um. Hi, guys. Um. Okay, he has something. He has a slingshot. Does that mean I can make a slingshot now? Um, did you have anything? Are these guys soldiers or somebody else? Okay, I'm looking for a marker. I don't know if my helmet actually had that kind of marker. I mean, okay. What is... Oh, money. It's not the kind of money I need, though. Can I break that? Okay, obviously not. Oh, is there an extra bone there? All right, I can't pick it up. Oh, and I got some more cloth. Okay, that, can, that way I can make Molotovs. All right, well, I guess we're going to go in here. So uh, let me just get the axe. All right, we'll get the axe, and then let me get a light. Let me get a light. All right, so let's see. Maybe he won't come in after us. All right. All right, so let's pop on inside. All right, so let's see what's around here. Uh, I should probably have my... Just in case I run into something. Okay, we have a light that's shining on... I think that's a zip line, but I'm guessing... Oh, and you see the thing is right over there, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so that means, of course, that I think this is the other end. You're supposed to zip from that side over to this side. All right. Well, this is kind of an exit, but it might also be an entrance as well. All right, let's look around here. Oh, I do see something, though. Other than skeletons. Okay, is that an air tank? That is an air tank. All right, is there a way? Anything down here? I was thinking, is there a way, if there's an air tank, maybe there's a way to go down there if you have a rebreather. All right, so skeletons, and they had one air tank. Maybe that's the reason they're skeletons. They had one air tank. I mean, can I go this way if I have some kind of a hook or something? Or is this just a way out? All right, well, I mean, if I get equipment... 
for climbing or such like that, then I can definitely look into that. All right. Okay, well, I don't need the light anymore. I might need this. So let's start working our way up. All right. Okay, is he gone? Let's get this back up again. All right, so what we're looking for is that way. So let's go around here. All right, let's go before he comes back. Uh, not that I'm overly concerned with him. It's just if there's one, there could be a lot of them, you know? And that's not something that I want to do. Ooh, bright, isn't it? All right, it looks like it's on the other side of the water here. All right, uh, let's do a quick zoom in. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's at the end of a road or something. All right, well, we'll just stick to our little path here and see if we can come across anyone. We have to be careful because I don't want to walk into a, uh, a camp at this point because I'm nowhere near armed enough, right? Well, we do seem to be making progress, which is what we want to do. Nice, bright, sunny day. Better than pouring rain, right? All right. Okay, I'm hearing a beeping. It's probably coming from the... Um, going on here a rope which is good it looks like somebody used a rope oh energy bars okay and I'm, okay hold on a minute here um, didn't I make it's really sure that I made maltops hmm all right why don't we just do that again all right, that beeping is a little loud. I could have sworn that I made Maltovs. I don't know what happened with that. Uh, let's see. And uh, this. Okay, can we put that away? All right, I don't want to equip it or anything like that. All right, there's two there. Okay, so do I still have those? Let me just check that for a moment. Yeah, I have the three. Okay. Uh, that means I should be able to pick that up now. Okay, is that a bottle? Okay, and they're down there. Okay, there's a rope here. I don't think I want to chop the rope. I don't think I want to chop the rope at the moment. All right, let me just go down and see what we're looking at here. Okay, is there a way down here? All right. Okay, you know, I better turn this back on, otherwise I'm not going to find it. All right, over there. Get lost. Okay, boy, you're incompetent. You tripped over yourself. Oh. Oh. Okay, at least I know what's holding the, uh, the rope up now, huh? And, okay, I got some more of that. Get lost. I'm not really sure how that happened. But, uh, yeah, now I know why I want to go up there again, don't I? Okay, well, you know what? Let's just uh, head back, and then I'll, I guess I'm going to chop the rope, ain't I? Yeah. All right, at least I know what I'm doing here and why I'm doing it, right? Um, I'm thinking the uh, knife... Okay, can I, uh... There we go. That bottle there, can I pick up that bottle? I guess not. 
Okay, and let's go back, get the stun baton out. All right, and let's get back over there and uh, pay respects to our fallen comrade. And hopefully not get attacked by those guys. I'd rather not um, have any incidents right now, you know what I mean? It's a time of mourning. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I do see something that's really good, though. Uh, so we do have a flashlight. And it looks like it's full on the battery, so we're just going to put that away. All right, what do we have here? The GPS locator. All right, so I'm guessing then that we're not going to get any more signals from this location. Let me just verify that. Yep, it's done. All right, so since we're in the area and we do have some time, let's make it over there and see what we can find. Um, I don't have a, um, a shovel, so I can't give a uh, proper burial. Very unfortunate indeed. All right, let's get away from these guys so we don't have any trouble that we don't need to have right now. All right, so I'm thinking we can follow this river around on the other side. That would actually do the job for us, right? Just got to be careful not to run into, uh, like I said, walking right into a, um, a village when we're not prepared and we are not prepared would just be a really, really bad idea. All right. Let's try to preserve my stamina in case I really do have to run. All right. Looks like we got stuff coming up here. All right, can I zoom in a little bit more? There we go. Looks like whatever it is, it's sitting on a path. All right. Let's get over there. And hopefully there's no problems. I mean, it might be another base. If it's another base, maybe we could spend the night there. If not, you know, I do have a couple of tarps, but I'd rather preserve them for emergencies. So I think at that point, we'll start making our way back. Okay, I see a golf cart. Okay, that is an interesting sign right there. All right, we have a golf club. Is anything in the golf club? I don't see anything. Does it run? Because that would be useful to me, just saying. Okay, we have survey devices pointing at each other. With a shovel icon there. Okay, well, obviously we're supposed to dig here, but I don't have a shovel. And as I understand, it's going to be a while before I have a shovel. Uh, because you need a lot of things. So is there anything over here? Okay, uh, resin. All right, we got some more resin. Can I have that? Looks interesting. Um, well, here's the thing. Since I don't have a shovel, there's no reason for me to be here, right? Except maybe killing birds. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to come back. Now, how do I get out of here? You know, I have a feeling if I just head in the direction of the K, I will probably find my way back to my base. Oh, hi. I nearly missed that. Okay, what do we get? Okay, batteries that I don't need and wire. Does that mean I should search the area? Because there was a container just sitting over here. I mean, it does have random loot in it, but I mean, if there is um, any kind of loot. I mean, I don't see anything except another stick. All right, I'm guessing that was just a random container that didn't have anything. I mean, if they wanted us to find something, they probably would have left it near one of the... Uh, I don't know, what was that? I saw something. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, if they wanted us to have it, they would have just given it to us, right? All right, so let's start heading back home. And like I said, I do want to keep my eyes open in case we find a place that is like, wow, that is a great base. We need to set up shop over there. All right. All right, so let's see here now. Yeah, I figure if I just head straight for the uh, the K, we will find our way home. Kelvin is the way. That's another reason I wanted to leave him at the base. 
And I hope he's doing work while I'm away. You know? Because I really want to uh, do some building. Maybe finish the, the house. Okay, is that something over there? All right. I have to be very careful with my stamina. I don't want to wear myself down. All right, and we're heading this way. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's get home. Oh, okay. I think I just found a great place to build a base. I mean, you can make a compound here with walls all around it. And where is the map here? Okay, and look where we're located right now. It's like right at the center of everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, take that into consideration. Now, the water seems... I mean, there's water right over there, right? And I do have a flask. So, I mean, I can go a little bit away from being a water, but I could just go over there and fill it up or something. Who knows? Maybe I could have multiple flasks or something like that. So that's not really an issue here. And there's a lot of trees around, too. Of course, there is some company. I mean, it could very well be that there's a village nearby. All right. Well, you know what? That is something to take into consideration for the future, right? In the meantime, let's get to our current home and make sure that uh, Kelvin hasn't actually hurt himself or something like that. And, of course, has gathered us a whole lot of logs. All right, we're starting to get closer here, so let's go down here. By the way, I did have a little bit of a scream behind me, so I don't know if I'm being followed or not. Can I get up there, please? Thank you. I noticed that when I was in the water, I didn't put down the GPS, but I was, um, I did put down the stun baton. Oh. Oh, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Well, this is interesting, but once again, we have company here, don't we? I mean, this is interesting right here. I mean, we wouldn't have to worry about our back here. We could just build a thing around us. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go away. Don't make me shock you. Y you want it? All right. Okay. Oh, and these can be dug up. But I'm not getting indicators from them, so... They're not going to be our soldiers, but they could be things that are interesting. I will shock you. So, get lost. Alright, let's get back on path here. I mean, that's another location that could be really cool. You know, I mean, it has the trees, it is next to the water, and I wouldn't have to worry about one side. I'd only have to worry about walls and traps. Whoops. On that side, you know, all right, let's just keep going here and let's get back to Kelvin. All right, so we, we searched for that uh, GPS ID. We found one of our soldiers. Unfortunately, he was dead, but fortunately for us, he did have something very useful, uh, the flashlight. So in terms of uh, future caving, I'm guessing that's going to make it a lot easier. And, uh, oh, what do we have here? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't have a shovel. And, you know, the chances of me finding this again are pretty remote. So I'm guessing there's a lot of, like, little secret locations around. Uh, yeah, the, sho the uh, shovel. So I understand shovel is really hard to get. But you know what? Eventually we'll have it. And then we'll find out what's underneath all those little uh, gravestones. And we are home. Okay, and you're chopping down trees on this side. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. What have you done? What have you done? Over here. You know, I'm actually going to have to make a little... Um, hold it up. Grab it. And grab that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a little... Uh, oh. Okay, I hit the water there. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a little... Um, fence there because apparently they can go that way and i have no idea why he's on the other side of the water here and yet he's gonna have to walk all the way back yikes all right let's just drop these and we'll drop this you know 
The thing is, if I leave the game and I save, what's going to happen is these are all going to vanish. So I'm thinking maybe for now what I'll do is... Well, first of all, did I finish this? No, I didn't. All right, let's finish this. All right, that could be a problem. Hold on a minute. I'm thinking what I can do is just put something down so that I can access them. So why don't I just build a wall here? Yes, I'm going to build a wall. That way I can have the wood available to me since you can just take them right off. You know what I mean? And I should probably also do something with the pieces that are on the inside because I am probably going to need them. Uh, can we do this? This? There we go. Oh, but you know what I should do? I should make a door. Hold it a minute. All right, and up, and up. We'll just do that for now. Uh, because if it's loose, it's just gonna vanish. Did you have any more? Or, okay, you have one coming. All right, I'm gonna need another one. And you're gonna have to run all the way over there, aren't you? All right, hold it a minute. Now, as I understand, the way you put a door in is like this. All right, obviously, I'm going to need another one, ain't I? Uh, fortunately, there does seem to be one there that isn't floating away. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a little, like, stick fence here or something just so that doesn't happen because clearly he's going to be clearing these away, right? And he's running all the way around, too. Why do... Oh, oh, we have a friend. Okay, hold it a minute, hold it a minute. I want to impress her with my housemaking ability. Okay, there we go. Hi! Uh, put it away. Hi! How are you doing? Okay, she's getting closer, isn't she? Uh-oh. And they're getting closer, too. Okay, I mean, should I walk over there? Okay, there she goes. All right, I guess she sensed the... But, you know, she's getting closer now. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah. I see him, Kelvin. I do. Hit the road. I got tons of batteries. Tons of batteries. Oh, I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock. Is my fire still going? My fire is still going. I could use more bones. Yes, I could use more bones. And a few more skulls, too. I don't know where he's going. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. So, yeah, the uh, cabin is coming along. Cabin's coming along. Uh, we're going to have to find a way to put a roof on it, of course. That's the reason I want to save this stuff. But um, anyway, that is going to be the future. By the way, yeah, the meat got rotten. All right, so we're going to drop that and not eat it. I do have some other food here, but yeah, I think Bambies are just going to have to die. Yeah. I did make a bow, so that was mostly for Bambi. Uh, I am going to have to practice the use, though. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So we went to one of the GPS markers. We uh, unfortunately found one of our compadres. Fortunately for us, at least, he had a uh, flashlight. And that is going to be very useful in future caving endeavors. So if you liked the video, please give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.